This is The Sims Spark. This is real, like game on. <laughs> a creative competition where you design characters. Alt, alt, alt is your best friend. Build anything you can imagine. What the hell? Do you have everything? No. And tell original stories using The Sims. A game played by fans all around the world. Judges, how do we feel? I think you guys had a really great storyline. Totally touched me. I'm so impressed what you guys did right there. I want to win this so bad. The Sims is a game where you create, you control, you rule. I have to destroy them, it's the only option. <laughs> We're bringing together 12 players to take this game to the next level. The faster, faster, speed up, please, please. With new challenges designed to inspire creativity. I am in it to win it. <laughs> and compete for a grand prize of $100,000. This competition is such a roller coaster. <laughs>12 of the top players from around the world are here to find out what this competition is all about. Walking into the amazing, the atmosphere. I have no idea what's going on and what we're gonna do, but I'm just really excited and a little nervous. I know I'm here for some sort of competition, but like, I'm kinda nervous we're just gonna battle each other. <laughs> Welcome players to the home of The Sims. I'm your host, Rayvon Owen. And joining me is an amazing panel of judges. From our studio development team, we have lead producer, David Motke. Some of y'all know him as Sim Guru Ninja, right? Yeah. <laughs> I know that Sim Guru Ninja is gonna be the judge to look out for. He's the Simon Cow out of the judges. Dave, what are you gonna be looking for out of these players? Uh, well, these players have amazing amounts of Sims knowledge. So I wanna see them transfer that knowledge into something totally unique that I've never seen before. Ooh, I like that. We have BuzzFeed multiplayer producer and YouTuber, Kelsey and Peachy K. I'm a video producer. I mainly focus in gaming content. I first started playing The Sims back in like grade school. I'm known for doing a series with The Sims where I play the 100 Baby Challenge. Kelsey, what are you gonna be looking for? I'm gonna be looking for a really good story, something that hits you right in your feels, and uh, a really good use of whatever elements we give you for each challenge. And we have Taylor Parks, an American singer, songwriter, and actress. Well, my Sims story starts when I was around 12 years old, and I was absolutely obsessed. And a few years later, I did this voiceover for Sims, so I've been doing voiceover for the game ever since then. And how about you, Taylor? I will be looking for how you incorporate style in everything you do, from the way that you make your Sim to the house that you put them in. I just want to see you be innovative with your styles. So typically, you'd be at home playing this game solo, but we're gonna mash things up a little bit and do it a little different. You will be working in teams of three. Freaking out a little bit because I'm not used to working in teams at all, like with other people. So I'm not sure how that's going to look. So let's do it. Let's pick our four teams at random. Each team will have a stylist, builder, and a storyteller. A stylist <laughs> creates the character, known as Sims. The builder designs the worlds, and the storyteller brings it all to life by producing a dynamic narrative. So together, you'll compete in two different types of challenges. A skills challenge, where the winning team gets an advantage, and an elimination challenge, where the losing team goes home. I've been in competitions before, but I've never been in anything like this. I guess I have to destroy them. It's the only option. <laughs> Simproved, Plumbella, and English Simmer, you are Team Gnome. I'm the English Simmer, I'm from Manchester, England, and I am here to win. With The Sims being the type of game that it is, it just promotes inclusion and diversity. And so when it came to my own coming out, I didn't really see it as a big deal because I had grown up with a game that allowed me to tell those stories anyway. Little Siha, Dr. Ashley, and Stefo Sims, you are Team Cowplan. I'm Dr. Ashley, I'm from Vancouver, Canada, and I am a Sims 4 YouTuber who primarily focuses on building and renovations and recreations. I'm Steph, I am basically the dumpster fire of the Sims community. I grew up with severe social anxiety. When I started playing The Sims and doing this whole YouTube thing, I have become a much more confident person. Ex-Urban Sims, Spring Sims, and D-Sims, you are Team Freezer Bunny. I am Spring Sims, and I'm 
super excited to be a part of this. What is up, my little shakabugas? I'm Urban Sims, and I am so excited to be here. My real motivation for all of this is all the people out there who play The Sims or want to be the YouTuber or a streamer, I'm doing it for them, saying that you can literally do anything in your life as long as you have confidence in yourself. Ex Mira Mira, Sim Lissy, and Dr. Glue On, you are Team Llama. I'm Dr. Glue On, golly gee. Go to Twitch and sit for me. My name is Ex Mira Mira, and I'm from New York. When I joined YouTube, I couldn't find any content creators who had stories that looked like me. So I came out with the Melanin Pack that added about a 30 additional skin tones to the game. Get to know your teammates, because now your fates are tied. The last team standing will win the grand prize, which is $100,000! Oh we gonna play Sims and somebody's gonna get 100 grand? Okay, sign me up. Players, it's time for your first skill challenge. As you can see, on each side of the room, there are two tables filled with items of inspiration. For your first challenge, you'll each race to grab one of these objects, which means that as a team, you will have a combined total of three different objects. Your objects must serve as the inspiration for your creations. I start getting these ideas in my head, like, okay, what can I do? What can I use? What item do I go for? But I'm also ready for the unexpected. I love to go a little bit darker sometimes, and the voodoo dolls can drive my story in that direction. You will be judged on the styling of your Sims characters, your builds, and the story you tell that weaves it all together. And the winning team will receive an advantage in the first elimination challenge. On the count of three, run off and grab your objects. Why did I wear heels today? If they had told me, I would have worn my sneakers. Okay, one, two, three. I didn't think Simmons could be so fast, but boy, can people run. I got slammed into the table just as I was reaching for the voodoo dolls. Oh my God. I have dogs! You know I dogs. <laughs> As a team, we want to earn. And I see Spring Sims item, and it's a camera. And I'm like, wait, <laughs> we didn't agree on a camera. <laughs> Everybody's good? When you get to your workspace, you will have 90 minutes of gameplay to create your Sim characters, build your environment, and incorporate your storyline. Good luck. Let's get to work. Each of us had to create a story from said items. And I'm not gonna lie, I got a little bit worried when I grabbed the guitar, he had a fishing pole, and she had bubbles. Okay, so we got a fisherman who's uh, basically want to impress his daughter. His daughter wants to go to a concert, but you know, they're living on a fisherman's budget. So the dad, the fisherman dad, is gonna put on a concert for his daughter. Dr. Gluon's like, here's my idea, and that's it. And I'm like, you do realize it's three of us and not one, right? So I was thinking, we've got two dolls, OK? You just gave me an idea. They look like punks. Yeah. Doing a story about an old woman who's ended up uh, kind of adopting these two kids and using this voodoo doll to make the kids do all of her dirty bidding. I think the character should be like a dance mum, stage mum, and her pageant child that doesn't want to be there. Yeah. You could go trailer trash. <gasps> So we're making a stage mum, a dance mum. Uh, she failed as a dancer herself, so now she puts her child into pageants. And we live in a bad and bougie <laughs> trailer home. It's lovely, uh, absolutely tasteless. Our story is going to be about a teenage girl who wants to be a famous singer. Her parents are very strict and really want her to get the best education to become a lawyer. Okay, so I'm gonna try to take, do this in 20 minutes. Yeah. 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Remember, we have to change them all up. And oh, I know, girl. Yeah. Give me a second, I, I got you. I know you got you. Know, you, got you. you know. Okay. Yeah. With the story determined, each team stylist must create the Sims, or characters in the story, choosing from literally infinite options. Each decision is vital. She's a teenager, right? Yeah. All right. Oh, boy. Oh, God. I hope this is... Oh, oh she's okay. cute! 
Oh yeah, and the judges, they're always watching. There's so many like details that you could dive into, so it's gonna be real interesting to see how like yeah. they manage their time. But it also depends on their story, where they're heading yeah. to, because yep. it might not be as important, whereas mm. for another team, the yeah. outfits might be everything to the story. Wait, okay. are there pink sunglasses? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. Yes. Now everything pop colors. Yeah. As the clock ticks on, it's time for the builder to create the structures. The world where the story takes place. From the foundation to the interior details to the landscaping. Each choice has got to come together. I would be worried for the builder because that takes a long time. People can take days on a build. And finally, the storyteller brings it to life by directing the interactions between the characters and the world. All that has to happen in just 90 minutes. That's really awful, but like, will that work? It. Instead of doing full on builds because we're limited on time, okay. we keep things to set. So we, keep, we do rooms, room okay. builds. Yeah. To have it done in 45 minutes is going to be the challenge. Copy and paste it and just go at it. Oh, you're stressing, dude. I can see it. I am stressed. Time is definitely getting away from me. And having two different suggestions in my ear at the same time is too much. Spring Sims, he's clicking the wrong thing. He's placing items where he shouldn't. D Sims doesn't get the opportunity to do a playthrough, and this is going to bite us in the end. Are you guys feeling good about the story? I am. Okay. I like it. How about you? You know, I'm all of a sudden filled with... Uh... Nerves. <laughs> yeah, I'm filled with nerves, definitely. I think he just got nervous because the concept we created was really good. He just wasn't following through with what we agreed upon. Oh my goodness, what is going on? All right, all right, team! Move the tables! Can they get 10 or is it 5? Time! We took the music off. Is off! All these are best for you. Oh. Up! Oh, no. <laughs> Hands off the keyboard. No more styling, no more building. I am bricks right now. I don't even know what I'm going to do. I'm either going to be very nervous and stand in a corner like a weird goblin, or I will backflip into the place. We don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> now it's time to present to the judges. Team Cowplan is first. Your three items of inspiration are the radio, the mirror, and the bed. Team Cowplant's trashy story focuses on self-tanning mom, Karen Christie, a former pageant queen now living vicariously through her rebellious daughter, Kaylin. As for the build, Dr. Ashley prescribes an ornate trailer park fitting for a washed up pageant queen. So, Steffo, let's tie it all together. It's fine. <laughs> let's start their pageanting. So, she loves to look in the mirror. She is completely unemployed. Um, sorry, I'm having a blank. <laughs> oh, yikes. Come on, guys. So Steffo Sims freezes. I know she's really nervous. It's all right. <laughs> You're good, Steph. Oh. You got this. All I want to do is just like give her a big old hug and tell her she's doing great. It's such a terrifying moment. Oh. But you know, Kaylin, she's angry. When her mum forces her to be in pageants and she's gonna go kick her ball that her mum wants to go do a practice pageant, it's time for her to show off her moves. Give me a backflip. A backflip? <laughs> Here she goes. Oh! She stuck the landing. Oh! And that is the family. Judges. Obviously, the execution of how the story was told could have been just a little bit better, but hey, it happens. And I understand this is so much pressure. I mean, I I definitely think that you really like did something creative and new that I haven't seen in The Sims necessarily. Like it was a really fun idea. This is a great build, and I'm really excited by it. The outfits were really good. Steffo, take a deep breath. You don't have anything to worry about. You know, you are awesome. <laughs> that said, the storytelling felt pretty weak here her not wanting to kind of follow her mom's dreams and kind of go the soccer route was a little unexplored. All right, thank you Team Cowplant for your presentation. You may now go back to your workspace. <laughs> Welcome to Team Llama. All right, your objects were the guitar, the fishing pole, and the bubbles. Time to meet Team Llama's family, the Bass family. Ex Mira Mira styles the father, a poor fisherman, the young daughter, a colorful music loving girl, and Mrs. Crumplebum, the stodgy landlord of the family's home. This fishing shack, built by Sim Lissy. 
it's pretty tattered. So I tried to represent that with some accessories that we have in the game, like cracks and stains. All right, my storyteller. We have our fisherman here, and uh, here's his daughter who loves, uh, who loves music. And her favorite band happens to be the Bubble Boys. Um, you know, she, and she hears there's a concert coming by and she wants to, she wants to uh, go see the concert. So let's have her ask dad if she uh, comes down here. <laughs> here she comes. You know, you've got the pressure of in front of the, the judges. When you're up there, everything just like, uh, okay, gotta go, gotta roll with the punches. She's like, uh, Dad, I wanna go to the concert, but oh boy, look who it is. It's all, uh, it's all the crumple bum. She's like, uh, hello, you're late again on the payment for, uh, you know, the, the fishing shack. It's getting a little hot as that says. Oh, oh, um, yeah, uh, I'll get that to you as soon. Anyway, Dad, he's gonna come down here and play some music for his daughter. He's gonna put on a concert of his own. So there we go. Judges. First of all, like, I think you got the characters down. I think you got the stage right. But the execution of the story could have been better. I think that the bubbles, you know, could have been a bit more utilized. We technically didn't even see it. I completely agree. I wish I would have seen those used uh, a little bit more creatively. We have a bubble blower. Maybe that could have been worked into it. Thank you guys so much. Please go back to your workspace, and we'll see you soon. I'm mad as hell. I mean, it didn't have to be perfect. Like, it, it, it could have been better, like, way better. All right, come on out, Team Freezer Bunny. Your three objects were the microphone, the camera, and the heavy stack of books. Ex-Urban Sims design centers around Natasha, or better known by her alter ego, Tosh. A musical genius being stifled by her parents who wanted to go a more studious route. Spring Sims build consists of four separate sets, including her bedroom and a recording studio. D Sims, give us the storyline. We're gonna start here with uh, Natasha. When well, she's supposed to be in debate club and you know studying and, and, and doing everything to please everyone, she actually has been skipping to come to the local music studio to record her hit single. Despite her parents' plans, she continues to be the person that she wants to be. Because at the end of the day, Natasha really just wants to become Taj. And that's our story. Judges. I do think that making sure you told the story with each of the sets was like a, a unique way of doing it. So I'm gonna slightly disagree with you here, Kelsey. Okay. I respect your decision to do the separate spaces. I, I can absolutely see why you did that. Um, I think you could have pushed it a little bit farther with the exterior decoration. Okay. Even just putting some, some paint on the outside. Yeah. Insides looked great. Mm -hmm. Super, super good interiors, but those exteriors, I felt, kind of took me out of the story. The judges seemed to not necessarily understand why we went with what we did, um, but I feel like overall we did pretty good. Next up, Team Gnome. Your three objects were an urn, a cherry blossom tree, and a voodoo doll. For the styles, Plumbella starts with the Widowed Woman. While mourning her husband, she decides to adopt the voodoo doll-inspired punk kids. In Simproof's build of this Victorian mansion, equipped with a giant cherry blossom tree, sets up our creepy tale. In one of the tower rooms is a little old crib and it's full of cobwebs. Oh. Wow. Oh my God! Sim proves build. It was so detailed for such a small amount of time. Like, that build really had me shook. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm curious to hear the story. Yeah. What's been happening is she adopted these two. In other words, she may have stolen the boys. She's kind of this old, bitter woman. She uses the voodoo dolls to kind of terrorize the town. She wants to create as much drama as she has had in her life. There we go. She's performing her voodoo. You, you had me on the build, and then you kind of lost me on the story. I thought it was a great setup. I just wish there was a much stronger climax to mm -hmm. it. 
I actually thought the story could have been really, really creative. I thought the voodoo doll part was interesting, but you completely didn't like hit the home run there. I think that the build was really strong. This is a huge thing to get done in the time that you had, so I like mad props to the ambition of this team. We have a lot to think about. In the meantime, head back to the workspace and we'll call all the teams back. Almost have a practice run. Story. Yeah. 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 That's the thing. Like hoping that things are just gonna work out because yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> don't don't yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Teams, come on back in. The judges have made a decision. I do feel as if I rumbled quite a bit. And I really felt as if I had let down team no. Because the judges actually said that the story was the weakest part of the presentation. Welcome back, teens. I want to start with asking my judges, which team didn't cut it and why? So I'm looking at Freezer Bunny, and I'm also looking at Llama today. Would have liked to see a little bit more build uh, on both. I thought some of the story elements were a little disparate, and I didn't think the usage of the three objects was quite as strong as they could have been. With that being said, our potential winners for this competition Cowplant or Gnome? Team Gnome. <laughs> Congratulations. It was such a creative way to incorporate the voodoo dolls. Um, and, and I thought that that was really, really cool. I don't think any of us were expecting that. No one, oh no. Oh yeah, they're gonna be a problem. Team Gnome, by winning this skill challenge, you will get an advantage in our elimination challenge. In this challenge, each team will be creating a new family of four Sims. This family will need a home in the Willow Creek neighborhood and a backstory that explains their relationship to one another. You'll also work with an editor to create a short video presentation for our judges. You will have five hours for this challenge. I don't even know if you can do that in that amount of time because creating videos with The Sims usually takes days. We really want to see some creativity, some innovation, and what does a family mean to you? And as an extra incentive, the winner of this challenge is going to have their family featured in The Sims 4 for all players to experience. Oh there is a lot at stake. Remember that the team that loses this challenge will be the team going home. The pressure mounts as teams head back to the workroom for the elimination challenge, and the clock begins to count down. This is going to be really tough to pull off, as we're given five hours to do it, but we're basically making a short film. I came up with this idea of this new young family. The mom gets a phone call. It's been an accident. And then we see like a funeral type setting. I love drama and theater. It was my bachelor's degree in undergrad. We pan the camera behind her and he, the ghost, is behind her. Oh, okay. Even in a time crunch, I'm confident that I can pull something together with a storyline that can really touch people. I think their last name should be T. T, just T. We came up with the T family. <laughs> And the inspiration, it's Gossip Girl. Everyone is out to get each other, although secretly they all love each other, and that is the wholesome message of it all. I reckon Ashley could do the Gossip Girl boys. You could be like, hey, Scott. Simmer. Oh, yeah. We'll start out with our grandma. She's founding Magnolia Park as a place where families and kids can come together, keeping the roots grounded. And that's gonna be the that is gonna be the theme of the whole thing. I had an ending. I thought about her getting married, or her getting remarried. Well, Doctor Who One takes control again. I would throw out ideas. He took what he wanted to. He didn't take what he didn't want to take. The twin sister comes back to the house, uh -huh. and she says, "I've spread my branches wide, but I've remembered to keep my roots, roots grounded. grounded." And yeah. that's where we bring it back to the back grandma. to the grandma. Oh. That gave me this That's what I want. <laughs> We're focusing on a young family, and the mum's going through a really tough time with the father, and she actually runs away from him, and then these old ladies discover her and want to take them in under her wing. So the really like overarching theme is that family can be anyone you choose. That's what we're hoping to get out of this story. All right, 
teams, can I get your attention for a second, please? I'm here to tell you about an important twist in this challenge. No, I can't handle those twists. You must now each incorporate a rival family into your storylines. Oh. oh, snap. A family that hails from a different neighborhood. So Team Gnome, since your team won the skill challenge, your advantage will be that you get to select the neighborhood that your new crew hails from and the neighborhoods that your competitors' new families will come from. Oh my God, I'm over it. All right? I am feeling like I am literally gonna throw up all over the keyboard because we don't have enough time for this twist. We've made our decision. What neighborhood are you gonna select? We're gonna select San Maishuno. What about your competitors? We thought we'd give towns to people who would do well with them. So for your team, we decided to give you Brindle and Bear. Thank you. For Cowplant, we decided to give you Get Famous. Team Llama. We decided to give you Windenburg. Oh, great. That's my favorite world to play in. <laughs> hey, this is not going as I expected. I thought you guys were gonna be a little harsher on them. Well, no, because if I go out, at least I've gone out being nice, you know? All right, teams. Y'all got some work to do. I'll see you soon. So with the kitchen, do you, yeah. maybe we can do like island, like no, like against the wall, against the, wall. the other way. No, oh. that's that's right. Go ahead, click it, and then I'm oh saying we God. have island counters come out this way. Yeah. Do you agree? Are you okay? It's okay. Just take it's, a minute. It's a lot. It is definitely hard when you have two strong people talking to you at the same time, and you just don't know how to speak up for yourself. Faster, faster, faster! I know, faster, I know. Faster. It's speed up, please. I don't want to get too hung up on details. We don't have much time left. What am I going to put on this lady? We have two hours left to edit and voiceover. And film. I want this place to be for the community, for everybody to enjoy. Meet Francesca and Romero Santiago. Drama Llama is spilling secrets to the whole town. My dad worked a lot to support them. Okay, so just move that over a little bit because I think there's another bit that needs to go in there. At this point, nerves are everywhere. We're super behind and my team is starting to get the fills. Oh boy, oh. I'm sweating. <gasps> Do your magic, Simon. Is it working? Okay, we're just gonna have to use that. <sighs> oh my gosh. Can you just slap the rest of the clips together and just the voiceover, seeing the time just count down. I don't even know if it is going to come together. Just export it, okay, let's just export it. Oh my god, it's really the countdown. Like, I am freaking out right now. Oh my god, 13 Holy. seconds, you guys. All right, team time is. Is it working? Where did my file go? Oh my god. Up, oh, hands up, hands up. Team Cowplant, you are up first. For your elimination challenge, you are asked to create a family with the added twist of adding a second rival family. Set up this video for us. You thought you knew Willow Creek. However, there has been another family here all along. Mm, okay. The T family has always been overshadowed. Camille, Ginger, Winter, and Chai. Willow Creek has always had its secrets, but now an anonymous user known only as Drama Llama is spilling secrets to the whole town. Spotted, Travis Scott taking a summer holiday in Summer Holiday's bedroom. Hope he doesn't get burnt. Spotted, Cassandra Goth caught partying without her top on. Hope she doesn't get kicked out of private school. Just leaked. Unedited photos of Victoria Star. This Simstagram baddie is going to be Simstagram Maddie. But all of these secrets are safe with me. Drama Llama signing off for today.
was really cute. That was yeah. really cute. I loved the whole, like, you set the tone, and I was like, I don't know, if, are they doing the gospel girl thing? Or are they doing, and I was like, oh, they are. But you still had a twist at the end, which was exciting. My one critique would be like it was it was a, sometimes felt a little bit unclear like it kind of all kind of got a little bit um, murky sometimes. Yeah, maybe there was a few little rough edges in the in the overall flow of the story, but I think you guys really did a fantastic job with this. You should be very proud. Yeah. <laughs> I got the exact reaction that I wanted. I loved seeing their jaws drop. I love their reaction to the puns that we made. I'm feeling really good. Next up is Team Llama. Tell the judges about your approach to creating this new potential classic family in The Sims. The soul of the Magnolia family intertwines within the vines of Willow Creek, and here's their story. Welcome to Willow Creek. There's an empty lot a certain family has their eye on. It's the Shepherd family from Windenburg that wish to develop their industrial complex. However, Mama Magnolia wants to develop it into a park where she can show her girls the importance of plants and the importance of family roots. What are you doing here? We have plans for this lot. We're going to build a factory and develop nails and screws on it. Luckily, the mayor decided with Mama Magnolia to build the park instead. So sis, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to travel the world and write about everything I see. Over time, the sisters have grown apart. Sarah has stayed in Willow Creek, continuing her mother's legacy and sharing her love of plants. She has met a husband and had two twin boys. Her husband is actually the son of Mrs. Shepard, merging the two families together and dissolving their differences. Stacy decided to move home and continue their family bond and grow their roots in Willow Creek. Sis, I've traveled all over the world, but I've learned that our roots is what keep us grounded. Judges. I think, no pun intended, there was a seed of an idea there. <laughs> um, but I'm not sure if that seed really blossomed. I didn't really get a sense of a real strong rival. And I really liked the whole story of tying it into Willow Creek mm. and the park. But I just feel like it didn't really go anywhere. I, I will have to agree. I, what I will say is I love the fact that you guys had some great lines. Uh, some things that made me laugh along the way. All right. Team Llama, thank you so much for sharing your thank work. You so thank you. Head back to the workspace. I'm mad as hell. The story was all over the place. We didn't have a proper beginning, middle, end. I'm like, this is driving me crazy. All right, Team Gnome, you won the skills challenge. Let's see if you can make it two in a row. Team Gnome, set up the story for us. This is a conventional family, but with an unconventional twist. Hi, I'm Aaliyah. My family is a little unconventional. We look happy, but it's taken a while to get here. Let me take you back. My parents are great, but they weren't great together. My dad worked a lot to support us, which meant he didn't have enough time for me and my mum. Granddad kept pushing him to take over the family business in San Myshuno and be the best that he could be, which ultimately pushed my mum to leave with me. For a while, my mum tried to make the most of what we had until she stumbled across Mary and Blossom. They helped us to build a life together. Mary's favorite thing is being out in the sun and tending to her garden. Being the explorer I was and learning to live off the land made me discover my love of gardening. Dad was impressed with our quality crops and dedication. He even used his business knowledge to help me set up shop and start selling my crops. Mary and Blossom taught me to follow my passions. My mom, well, she taught me to never give up. And my dad taught me how to make those sweet, sweet simoleons. Judges? I really appreciated you guys taking the time and effort to incorporate several skills and kind of career paths in. It really kind of painted a picture of this family. Like the storyline was, was really good. If I was to control that family, I feel like I could take that story and just keep on going with it. I loved the build. Like I liked seeing it grow with the new family's addition. I do like, you know, bringing the father back in and having him not necessarily be the enemy of the family. I think you could have added a little bit more to that. I'm of course super happy because the judges like it, especially like coming from Ninja who was like a developer so if a developer tells you that you did well that means like a lot to me all right last but certainly not least team freezer bunny set up the story for us the story is of a family bond that cannot be broken even by death 
Meet Francesca and Romero Santiago, a young couple looking for their forever home and with Francesca expecting their twins any day now, they need one right away. I can't believe this house is still up for sale. It's, it's perfect. It's amazing. It even has space for your studio. Can we have these two before you start planning more? What's happening? Oh no. I'm losing it. We didn't get to finish our video. Can you just slap the rest of the clips together and just the voiceover? All I can think about is this is so embarrassing. I want to get this over with. If honestly I could leave, I probably would. thinking about all the things that we could have done differently as a team to make this good story great. It really kind of, I don't know, it just it sucked. First of all, can I just say good on you guys for even though like knowing that maybe you didn't do the best, you still said, you know what, I want to show something. Great job on that because that takes a lot of guts. Thank you. I'm really upset with you guys and not for the reason you think. Uh, I think you guys had a really great storyline, you know? I had a death in the family recently. Totally touched me. Even with, you know, lack of voice acting, like you guys had something really, really special there. You guys came together. You, you came together like three quarters of the way there and you were just missing that last little bit. And it, you know, be proud of that. Be proud of what you did because that was a very touching story. Thank you. We have a lot to talk about, a lot of decisions to make. So why don't you head back and we'll see you shortly. Great, thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you so much. Underneath all the tears and yeah. what appears to be sadness, we're extremely proud of one another. Yes. In times yes. where we gave up, in times where maybe we weren't even seeing eye to eye, yeah. we still held on to each other and yeah. pushed sure. each other yeah. to the finish line, sure. so. Yeah. Judges, we got a lot to talk about. All right, let's start with Team Llama. Team Llama definitely executed the terms of the challenge. They yeah. had every element that they needed to have. We wish we saw more, we wish they went deeper but Llama delivered what we asked. What do you guys think about Team Cowplan? As much of a fun story as it was, it felt a lot of outward facing. It felt about like a lot about the rest of the families and not about their family, their family dynamic, these new characters, so. That's a really good point. Yeah. All right, what about Team Gnome? I thought there was a few things that were missing, but also they, they took it a step further too as well, which, which would have made us be like, okay, I like what you did. And lastly, how do you think Team Freezer Bunny did? I look at Freezer Bunny and, you know, there was missing elements, but it made me feel something, you know? And if I can feel emotion off of yes. virtual characters, I think that's really powerful. Impressive. But at yeah. the same time, you know, there was things that weren't present that needed to be present. And it's, you know, if this was a plate of food, it was only the main course and I need the whole meal. It makes it really hard to choose. The judges have come to a decision. For one of our four teams, the journey will end. And for the others, it's one step closer to the $100,000 prize. Even though Freezer Bunny did not finish their presentation, I still think we're going to get eliminated because the story is all over the place. All right, teams, welcome back. Judges, why don't you tell us who were our top two picks? I think we loved Team Gnome. And I think we also loved Team Cowplant. Both of you guys had strong story elements. You delivered all aspects of the challenge. Good narration, great build, super funny. You guys should feel very proud of the work that you did. So one of your families will go into the game. And Dave, since you're my development guru. Do you want to know which family goes in? Sweating. 
Team Gnome. <laughs> Team Gnome. <laughs> what the? We just won the last two challenges and we are feeling super confident that we have what it takes to win this competition. All players are gonna get to go and see the family that you guys made. It's gonna be in the game for everybody. It's gonna be super exciting. Team Gnome, Team Cowplant, congratulations. You are both safe. You are here to stay. You both can return to your workspace. Congratulations. Congratulations. Team Llama, Team Freezer Bunny. Unfortunately, one of your teams will be going home. The story we've come up with is amazing, and I'm really proud of it overall. The only issue is the execution. I'm super duper nervous. Oh, I know we going home. We getting eliminated. Like, it's over. I'm, I'm going home to my cats, and I'm taking my sleep because I'm going home. So judges, what were the problems that we saw in these presentations? You both did things right, and you both did different things wrong. Team Llama, I would have liked to see a little bit more drama, a little bit better editing, more cohesive story. Definitely an improvement from the skills challenge, but still not quite there. Team Freezer Bunny, you guys had, honestly, the highest high of the night for me. Like, you, you, you absolutely touched me, you know? Um, if you can make me feel emotions about something that's not real, that's pretty powerful. But sadly, as high as your high was, you had things missing. And that's very hard to, to kind of bridge that gap. Team Llama, Team Freezer Bunny, we agonized over this for a while. Team Freezer Bunny, your journey ends here. I feel numb. I don't know what to think, how to feel. But at the end of the day, even though we weren't able to have our story come together, we came together as a team. <laughs> Working with ex-Urban Sims and Spring Sims, it was so fun. We had some falls, but it definitely taught me a lot, and I'm just really excited to see where we all go from here. You would create a short video story with the following theme, supernatural. So we have to like really make pop. Something's gotta change, honestly, real quick. We need to get a move on. We spent a lot of time on this. Do you feel like you're overthinking everything? This is all me. It's almost like we have something to prove. I'm freaking out a little bit about time. You could see like steam coming out of my brain. That's fine, yeah, it's, 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 it's okay. way too late, yeah. I'm feeling really stressed because I don't think we're gonna watch this before showing it to the judges. Judges. How do we feel? I'm more impressed with the build than I am the storyline. I thought the overall structure of the story was good, but look at what you did here and take it to the next level. I'm really sorry to do this to you guys. And for you watching from wherever you are, your Sims challenge is live now. Simply head into The Sims 4 on the platform of your choice to find new exclusive community challenges for in-game stylists, builders, and storytellers. And by submitting your community creations, you and your creations have a chance to be on a future season of this show. Yes. That's right, maybe the next season of Spark could feature you. Head to thesims.com slash challenge now for all the details and check out the new challenge tab in game. We can't wait to see what you create.